Hi, everyone. Uh, we are here for our last committee meeting for the reopening task force, the learning committee. Uh, we're so happy to have you here for our last meeting, and we look forward to sharing all this wonderful information today. Um, and uh, hang in there for the ride. It's going to be fun. It is. Thanks, Steph. Um, we started our work by acknowledging the fact that these past few months have been hard, really hard. Um, they were filled with uncertainty and anxiety and trauma for our kids and for our staff. Um, when schools closed, suddenly we all became first year teachers again. And literally each day we were fighting to take care of our kids and provide learning and simply just to survive the new context. Now we've had a chance to catch our breath, to reflect, research, collaborate, and we put together some resources that we're really hoping help you do more than survive. This next year, we want to thrive. And so with the use of these resources, we hope that you feel equipped and inspired and that they help you make sure that your days that you survive are far outnumbered by the days that you thrive. Thanks, Kate. We know that we all have this basic need of belonging, and we want to help everyone realize that we can still create a sense of community and belonging, no matter what our teaching circumstances are. And how can we still greet our students on a daily basis, whether that be virtually or face to face? How can we still check in on them and see how they are doing just as we would as they walk into our rooms or enter into our Schoology courses? Uh, how can we be flexible and show empathy to the variety of situations that people are facing right now? And of course, uh, this is a traumatic time for you know all of us, and we're dealing with a, a variety of things. So resources provided to help people that are in trauma or just dealing with others that have gone through trauma and taking care of ourselves. And just to add on to what Amanda said, we know that this might not always be comfortable and it might not always be easy, but be, like she said, be flexible. This safe space will help all of our learners and to thrive is what we want. And please don't forget to take care of yourself. Self-care is also very important during this time. And as you're looking through this document, you'll see that there are a ton of different tech tools that are available to you. And knowing how hard you work both in the classroom and remotely, knowing that you are servicing you know, all different learners from all different places and backgrounds, the different tools that are available throughout this document should hopefully help you to cater um, lessons and materials that work for all of our students to make sure they're all reaching their full potential and utilizing some of the district provided um, accommodations and collaboration and working with your support staff to make sure that all the needs of all students are met. Thanks, Julia. Um, I agree. I think that when you look through this learning guide, you are going to be impressed by what we have um, made available to you. Um, and I think it's also important for you to remember that you are not expected to use all of these best practice um, suggestions. They are merely that, suggestions. Think about who you are as an educator think about where your strengths lie and pick the tools that are going to make those even stronger. That's going to be the best advice that I would give you as you're perusing this fantastic learning guide. Elementary teachers, we just want you to remember that regardless of structure, the emphasis continues to be on relationships, community, and belonging for all students. Plan to build courses in Schoology that look similar using a template for your grade level and work closely with your grade level team and your support staff to ensure the needs of all students are being met. Don't worry, you'll have time and extra PD to learn all of these new things. And when you enter the document, you'll see links to research and online PD that will support you in navigating these different educational models. You'll also see details about what learning might look like in each of the three phases. Finally, you can look through the Schoology recommendations to help build your course and support your learning. And for our secondary teachers, we have a similar layout for you with three sections. In section one, you're going to see some very important information about helping our most vulnerable student populations, including other information about bridging the gap from last year to this year, 
And you're also going to see information about how to plan for any scenario this year. The second part of this section is going to outline for us what it looks like to have online learning, hybrid learning, and face-to-face -face learning, as well as tips on how to balance so we can transition from one to the next as needed. The last part of this section is going to include all details relating to Schoology and how we can create a consistent experience for all of our teachers, students, and parents. Remember, everyone, we are in this together. This has truly been an inspiring journey of putting together this document. Uh, the professionals that have worked through this are, are above and beyond outstanding. So remember, as we join in this fall, we are going to be learning together and we're going to be doing this work together. <laughs>